her own way. And I think in all these years, briefly, one evening at a party for Elizabeth Taylor, hello and goodbye, and, and that was it. Exodus, Paul Newman. Yeah, he's a dear. And he does have those blue eyes. He's a very giving person, and I must say, what he and Joanne do now for so many mm -hmm. charities, it's so admirable, and, and it's very low-key, mm -hmm. but I admire him so much, what they do with their, with their money to help other people and, and uh, young, ill children. And of course, we can't talk about leading man and not mention Cary Grant. He was, he was a wee bit larger than life. He, was, he, he really was. Uh, I, it's hard to explain. And he was warm, and he was wonderful to work with, but I always have that vision. He was just a little more than we all are. And I can't describe it, but it, that came across on, on the screen. Mm -hmm. What was it like working with Bob Hope? I made two movies with Bob Hope, and my, the second movie I ever made was with Bob Hope. And I'd been used to a very quiet set on, on the waterfront. Very quiet. As a matter of fact, I talked too much on that set in the beginning, truly, because I'd never made a film. And Kazan pointed it out to me that I was talking to the crew and the other actors before my scene. Mm -hmm. And uh, he would rather have me concentrate on the scene. Well, I still do that. You don't see me talking on a set. You don't see me going out to lunch on a set. I try to really stay. I can't work any other way. But that second movie, it wasn't a quiet set. A whole football team came in one day mm -hmm. while we were filming. Who's been your favorite director that you've worked with? Kazan. He's very, I think because, well, he's just, he's just the way he, the way he works. I had a wonderful film uh, interview with him on American Movie Classics, and I wrote to him and I actually said it was, it was, it was profound. Uh, he gave pieces of himself away in that, in that interview that mm -hmm. was very, very moving mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. And um, I think in our country, when you reach a certain age, you're sort of discarded. And uh, I think it's such a loss, not only with Kazan, but some other people I know. Mm -hmm. um, it's all the youth and young. That's mm -hmm. why I'm so grateful that I'm still in the ball game. As Carl, Carl Malden says, show business like the ball game. Sometimes, well, hopefully you get up to bat. <laughs> Sometimes you go, get to first base, second base. Sometimes you hit a home run. Just to, just to stay in the ball game, that's the thing. Now, Cary Grant would liken it to, you're on a bus in showbiz. You're on a bus. You get on, you get a seat. Sometimes you have to get up and get to somebody else your seat. <laughs> Sometimes you get to the back of the bus. <laughs> stay on the bus. So I love those two stories because in my mind, I'm still on the bus, I'm still in the ball game. You know, when I was a young actor in New York, yeah. on the waterfront was a big picture. Sure. And all the young actors would go around emulating Brando and uh, Rod Steiger mm -hmm. and all that. So if I had Eva Marie Sink to play opposite me, you know, well, hey, sure. I could have been a contender. <laughs> that's very good. Oh, thank very you. Very good. But you're always a contender in my book. Oh, that's very nice of you to say. <laughs> you know, we are approaching the end of the show, and that means it's time for... The answer to the movie trivia quiz. That's right. And the question was, what was the name of the very first all-talking film produced by Warner Brothers back in the late 1920s? I told you, I know that one. Okay. The Jazz Talker. No, that's still a bad joke. Wait, <laughs> okay. Bad joke. <laughs> the answer is Lights of New York, which was released back in 1928, and it starred Helene Costello and Cullen Landis. Now, that's a tough one. I think I'll, so, too. I'll bet you you didn't get that one out there, did you? Yeah. Okay. Next week, why don't you join us for an interview with a multi-talented, award-winning Rita Moreno. That was a great interview. You Thank did you. With her. Good one. Thanks for watching. I'm Sandy Newton. And I'm Wayne Rogers. We'll see you next week on AMC's Hollywood Report.
Next on AMC, Douglas Fairbanks Jr. goes hunting for treasure in the adventure saga, Green Hell, featuring Vincent Price and Joan Bennett. Next on AMC.